FDNYEMS worker refused to take a patient to a hospital of their choice, he stated when it's potentially life-threatening, they have to take the patient to the nearest hospital. In this case they were on their way to Lincoln Hospital, the patient told them she didn't want to go to that hospital. She told the worker the hospital she wanted to go to had all her records and she was just there the night before. The worker said, when there's a patient with something that could be life-threatening they have to take them to the nearest hospital. In this case the patient was coughing up blood but stated it's not the first time it's happened, the hospital she was asking to go to had a scheduled surgery. Here is the location and estimated time to get to the hospital the FDNY worker wanted to go. It shows 7 to 8 minutes to get to the hospital. Here is the hospital the patient wanted to go to, it shows it's 8 to 11 minutes away. So it's just 1 to 4 minutes more than where he wanted to go. The patient asked the EMS worker to ask the driver to change the location but he just ignored her. The patient then started hitting the sides of the inside of the ambulance to try and get the driver's attention. Butler then decided to tell the driver to pull over and let the patient out in the middle of the highway somewhere on the side of the road. The patient said she didn't know where she was at and wasn't getting out there, she called the police. The police arrived, the patient told them EMS wouldn't take her to the hospital of choice because of a life-threatening situation but yet pulled over to let her out in the middle of nowhere. Police said there's nothing they can do but call another ambulance which was done but they just stood around next to the first ambulance workers. With no help from police or EMS because of FDNY EMS worker, Mr. Butler, the patient tried stopping a cab with no luck, she walked about half a mile where she got on a city bus then waited for another bus and walked two more blocks into the hospital. Thank you for watching, I have to let it be known, in no way does this video have to do with the fire department of New York City, it has to do with a certain worker named Butler that works with the ambulance in the Bronx and the others that followed his lead that night. I give him a big F you for his performance on this night.